We're down here at the 2015 Cancer Shave-a-thon where people have come to have their hair sprayed and shaven in solidarity with those who are affected by cancer. It is the end of the day and they're kind of sorting out the last few people but let's go ahead and take a look at what happened in the past seven hours. Thank you very much for being here first of all and donating your hair. Can I, can I just ask you, why is it that you decided to donate your hair? It's for those less fortunate who must uh, still go undergo cancer treatment um, and doesn't have any hair and feels shy about it or embarrassed. Well, a lot of people are being affected by cancer and I believe if you help then it will affect you because along the line you will be affected somehow. Do you think that you're ever too young to get involved in something like the Cancer Shavathon and getting your hair sprayed or shaven? Definitely not. You're never too young or too old to do a good thing. It's easy to just shave your hair, it's easy to just donate money, but it's not easy to give time. Yes. And time is precious commodity in today's life and that's what I have to give. I don't have a lot of money, I don't have... Um, you know, so that's what I donate to, to the Cancer Shavathon. I also gave my money for my hair, it's dyed. But um, yeah, that's something that I just felt, and I'm, I'm enjoying it. Seven hours later and dozens of cans of hairspray is finished. I do say the 2015 Cancer Shavathon is a success. I hope that I'll be seeing you guys next year at the Cancer Shavathon. It will be the 15th one. For me, Sam Yessi, peace out. Nine, nine, hectic. Nine, nine, hectic.